next weekend, right? Correct. Um, for the 2016 NCAA Student Athlete Leadership Forum. Um, explain to me the process, how you got into this, how you were chosen to go, uh, sort of that whole yeah. thing. Well, I was, I was nominated as, I don't know how many uh, student athletes were nominated as well, but I was one of them and I was lucky enough to get chosen. I've never been to conference, uh, similar conference to these or anything, I don't think similar, but I hope to gain as much as I can from it. I hope to bring back and ex expand what I learned over there, um, not only with my friends or some of my teammates, but also imply it in school and make the best out of it. Um, what has your experience been like being a part of Saturday? It's it's uh, it's new. I during high school people would do clubs, they do this and that. I had never done anything till I joined SAC, and it, it's a great experience. Uh, we volunteer, we do activities, and it's all it's always fun. And it's it's a kind of was not so much academic or it's sports related, but it's something different where we bond with different uh, sports. We do different activities with them. We go out, we volunteer, we uh, we do read across America, we do. I don't know, feed the homeless. I don't know, it's just a, a variety of different activities and it's to give back to the community as well. Okay. Uh, Why do you think it's important to give back to the community that you play in and you go to school in? I, I'm a I'm a local kid um, from Hollister, three, five minutes away, and um, I didn't know what to really do after high school. I didn't really know what I wanted to, to do, work, school, or this, and I opted to come to Monterey and I think it was perhaps a really great option. And I see myself reflected in many of the, the environment and culture I see uh, that has a, around here. I volunteered for my service learning class and um, in the program, and I've seen myself through those kids. I I had a language barrier, I had struggles growing up, and I see myself reflected to them. That's why I think it's important to. I don't. I can't personally give them um, uh, money. I can't do all this. I can't but I can help them out, I can teach them, I can guide them a little bit when I have the opportunity. Same with camps we do with soccer. These little kids, I didn't have the nicest pairs of shoes, I didn't have the best soccer ball or this or that. But I think it's important just to give back, show that it's important that someone cares and one person can change the life of another. So last year you wore the red shirt, right? Yeah. Um, how did you grow as a student athlete, spending a whole entire year it's, just watching? It, and it's observing? difficult. It's difficult to just, as a student athlete, it's, it can be difficult to manage and go to school, go to class, you got practice, you have to go to this event, you have to do all this stuff. And at, at points, it all comes together and you don't know what to do, but you have to set your priorities straight and know when and what to do first. And I think uh, having that redshirt opportunity, I, I, didn't, I learned a lot from it. I learned more as a player and as a student that everything has to be managed since the beginning because if you don't take care of it, it, it all comes to sound at one point. What does it mean to you to be a student athlete? It means a lot. I, I didn't know what to do with my life really after high school. I had gone, I had come back from Mexico and I didn't really know anything. I didn't know college, I didn't know anything. So I at one point opted, to, oh, I should just go to the military. But I don't know. No one really guided me. And thankfully, you know, I, I found my way through. And I think being a student athlete, has become someone of who I am, and I have adapted to being a student athlete. Uh, what piece of advice do you have for future student athletes? <sighs> There's so many, <laughs> but I think the the most would be, as a student athlete, I think school is um, is a fundamental aspect of of it, and learn to administrate your time. Once you do that, I think things would be easier. And go to class, 